Home means to me family. Home is the place where I feel most comfortable. It's where I'm with the people I love the most. My husband, my kids, my sister, my parents. My family are my best friends. I'm Jenna Fisher and this is my house. Even though I've lived in Los Angeles for 20 years now, when I say I'm going home, I mean St. Louis. It's a very cosmopolitan city, but it also has those great people, Midwestern values, and that's what I love about this town. I grew up in a little neighborhood in Baldwin, Missouri, which is one of the suburbs of St. Louis. Any Fisher family event, a lot of times it happened at my grandma and grandpa's house. This house was actually designed by my grandfather. My dad grew up in this house with his brother Don. At Christmas time, they would always put up a tree and my grandpa would put a train around the tree and we would have like a special grandma, grandpa Christmas. My sister Emily had a particularly special relationship with our grandpa and so the house always meant so much to her. So then when my grandma said that she was ready to sell, her and her husband bought the house and we were all really excited that the house was gonna stay in the family. The house worked okay for them at first because they were just a newly married couple, but now they're a family of four. And as each kid came, that house started to feel more cramped. When I think of my sister, I think of acts of service. Emily is a school teacher. She'll stay after school to tutor kids, or she works with this great group called Girls on the Run that's just all about trying to enhance the self-esteem of middle school girls. It comes so naturally to her to put herself last. I think that's just the thing about her that I admire so much. And so this is all about really giving to Emily, like giving Emily the type of renovation that will make Emily's life easier and Emily's life more comfortable. When I was growing up and visiting my grandparents in that house, they treated the dining room like a formal dining room, but that's not how my sister uses it. The dining room has really oversized furniture. The kitchen needs new appliances. They're from the 80s, but the biggest thing about the kitchen is how completely closed off it is from the rest of the house. And there's just kind of a mismatch aspect to the living room right now. I live in Los Angeles. This house is in St. Louis. It's not gonna help me to hire an LA designer. <laughs> With the help of House, I decided to renovate my sister's house in St. Louis. House is a website and it has everything you need to redesign and remodel your house from start to finish. They have designers, you can get ideas, you can even buy things all in one place. I was able to research all of these St. Louis designers on the house and I could see immediately from the reviews on Jenny's profile that people loved not only the work that she did, but they loved working with her. And I could see the thought that she put into each renovation. After I reviewed her profile, I picked up the phone, I gave her a call, and we just clicked right away. Jenny told me she was gonna be in Los Angeles so that we could meet in person and talk about some ideas. I'm just so excited to give this to my sister because there's just no one I know who deserves it more. Let's talk about Emily. There's so many little things about my sister's house that don't work. When Emily and her husband are in the kitchen cooking dinner, they're completely separated from their kids. For them to be able to communicate between those two rooms is starting to get kind of essential. So one of the other problems for my sister's house is that their garage leads to a door where they're entering their dining room. And so their dining room becomes kind of the dumping ground of the backpacks. The kids color, do their art projects at that table. My sister's all about family. She decorates with family photos and with the kids' art. We definitely want to incorporate that back into the new design, but maybe in a more organized way. I think that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the living room works okay. It's being overrun with bins of toys and art supplies that could really use some closed doors. So another thing is the front door. The doorknob is in like the middle of the door. All right, door gone. Okay, good. Here's my big idea. I want to knock down the wall between the living room to the kitchen and also in the kitchen and the dining room. I know there's a stairway there, so good luck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great idea, and I think actually we can fit in an island. 
That would be great. Okay, so let's talk about the TV. So that's the other thing. Right now they have it like in this corner between their fireplace and their living room window. Does she have a preference of where the TV would go? Well, my sister wants it above the fireplace. I think above the fireplace makes it too high. House has this great feature. It's called Design Dilemma. You can post your design dilemma and get advice from the community. So we can put the dilemma out there. Okay. And let the people decide. Okay. So I went on House and I started my idea book, yes. which I sent you. We've been collaborating on House. So an idea book is a place where you can save all of your favorite photos for all your home improvement projects. It's completely addictive. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you how many hours I've spent well, looking I at know, pictures. Well, I know, because I get an alert every time you oh, add a picture. <laughs> Emily loves the beach and the ocean, and so I kind of want to bring that idea into the house somehow. I like this particular picture in terms of describing that beachy feel. I love it that it looks polished, but it doesn't look formal. I sent you this picture, and this is another thing I want for the overall feel of their house. That sectional. I love it. I want it. Okay. <laughs> House has this tool called Visual Match that helps you find similar products on House. And it makes shopping a whole lot easier. So when you click it, right underneath the sofa comes up. Are you saying I can have this couch? I'm saying you can have this couch. Yes. I love it. We'll keep shopping. We're okay. still shopping. Okay, we'll keep shopping. Okay, let's buy more things. Okay. So one thing I wanted to bring up is my memories of this house when I was a kid were sitting on the floor. And so making even the floor a comfortable place is important to me. My grandpa loved to get on the floor and play with us. We'd play cards, we'd do puzzles, unwrap Christmas presents, and we still do that. It's sort of a tradition of Emily's house. I found this rug that okay. I think looks really plush and yeah. comfortable. Now, this is not going to be the exact rug because okay. I still have to work on everything that's going in the room. But in yeah. terms of texture... I like, I would sit on that rug. <laughs> okay, that's good. What else can we buy? Oh, this table. Doesn't that seem sort of like driftwoody to it you? It does seem driftwoody. So I let's add that. that baby to the cart okay, too. Okay, good. And one last thing, my dad. Okay. He has to tinker and be doing things all the time and he's got nothing to build right now. What and you're telling me is I can use him. I don't think you can't not use him. All right, I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Four generations have lived in this house. It's just incredibly special to us, so thank you. I feel honored, thank you. I want to do this for Emily because she does so much and she asks for so little. And um, <laughs> oh gosh. I always see people do this on shows and I don't understand why. Um, my sister is just my hero, she really is. Today, Jenny is meeting my dad in St. Louis at my sister Emily's house. Hi! And the work is about to begin. I'm so excited to get to be here today. Same here. But this is a very awkward door. Very it is open. awkward. It's hard to open and close. So we're going to fix that. In order to do this project, we first have to clear these few rooms out. We have a ton of kids stuff. I think we can get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of it? Um, no. So I'm a mama bear, <laughs> I have little kids too. So let's not red tape it. Let's just find a good storage solution for it. While we're here, we need to talk about the furniture. And it's too much for this little space. So what are we gonna do? But I think Donate donating it. it's a good idea. This house was built in the 50s and the scale of furniture was very small at that time. And now everything we have is so oversized. All right, let's go over here and look at the bookcase. All right. So I like the piece of furniture. The scale is good for this wall. It doesn't really fit into the color scheme. So well, if you like the basic piece and the color is the only problem, I can probably refinish this. Okay, so you could turn it into something different for me? Tell me what color you want. It can be wood grain. It can be a color to match your scheme. I can do this. All right, I like that. And then what about the kitchen? The very small kitchen. So is there anything that we can keep? We got to keep this little guy. Okay, I like him. He's lived in that spot forever. He's probably covered with grease. But he... We have a lot to do. All right, you ready to get started? All right, let's start. So they got everything cleaned out of the house. My dad and Jenny are meeting Randy, the contractor, and they're going to start knocking down some walls. 
Hey, Randy. Hey. Good to see you. This is Jim. Hey, hey Jim. Good morning. Nice good to, to meet, meet you. you. Jim is about to tear holes <laughs> in the walls of his father's house. We're getting started tearing all this out today, and I thought maybe you would like to strike the first blow. You can't imagine how excited I am. I've always wanted to be that guy. I can only imagine what he's thinking and how he must feel about taking a sledgehammer to something that his dad built. Ready, Ready for this? Up. Yes. This is week four. We're halfway there and things are going pretty well. Oh, wow. What a difference. Okay, so we've got cabinets going in. We've got some floor color going down. We've got a hearth going on that fireplace. We've got a mantle going on the fireplace. We've got windows going in. We've got appliances showing up. Wow. We've got lights being hung. It's amazing. It, it just, it came to life since the last time I saw it. How's my bookcase coming along? It's coming along just great. I'm making progress. I have a primer coat. I sanded it all down, and I just have to do the finish coat, and then it's done, and then we can move it back into the space. I, th I think it's going to work great over there. Well, I'm not worried. I'm sure you've got it taken care of. Hey, Jim, I was just flipping through my idea book, and I realized that we can use the sketch on my phone. With Sketch, you can pick any of the photos on House or take one of your own. Then you can draw directly on that photo or add products from the House shop. It makes it very easy to communicate ideas with my clients. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> Should we send that to Jenna? It's so hard to visualize this stuff in an empty room. I think she'd love to see that. All right, let's send it to her. I can show it to Jim, and I can send it to Jenna, and they can really get excited about how the space is gonna come together and what the furniture pieces are gonna look like in here. It's, it's so fun. Phone call. Okay. It's Jenna. Hello. Hey, Jenna. Did you like the picture I sent? I'm opening it right now. Am I allowed to open it now? Yeah, you can open it, look. <gasps> <laughs> so that is the sofa from House in the space. I can't even believe that that is the house. Like So that wall that the sofa is on is actually going to have wallpaper. Oh. And then we put um, a new deeper mantle wow. that's gorgeous. That's great. That's great. She's always been bummed that she can't decorate her mantle more over the holidays and stuff. I'm so excited. I got the Design Dilemma update from the House community, and I can't wait to tell Jenna. Do you remember we asked the House community about where to locate the TV? Yes, what did they say? The people of House have decided that we do not need to put the TV over the fireplace, and we get to locate the TV in the bookcase over here. Thank you, House people. And this. I know, isn't it crazy? Look at all the light that comes from that door and from the kitchen into the whole room. I love it. I think she's gonna love it. Thank you. All right, well, have a good rest of your afternoon. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. I'm finally back in St. Louis. I'm about to go over to my sister's house and start putting the final touches on this renovation. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. You like it? The color is perfect. Yes. Yes. Hi. Oh. Oh hey. my gosh. <laughs> this wall is gone. This is amazing. It feels like it has that relaxing, ocean, luxurious feel in like a homey home for kids. I can't get over how real this is. This is like a for real secret makeover that she has no idea. Ah! Okay, Here's what do we have to do? Let's start okay. hanging stuff on the wall. Okay, you can get the other side. Oh, I love it! This is the fun part. I love this part. Okay, bring it in. Oh, Just yeah. tell my dad, bring it in. I've gotten really good at bossing your dad around. Can you teach me how to do that? <laughs> yeah. Now bring me the coffee table. <laughs> Please, 
That's better. <laughs> I have these great pillows that adds lots of color to the room. Oh, these are gorgeous. All right, ready? Ready. Room's done. Okay, you guys go hide downstairs. So exciting. Good All luck. right, today's the day. I finally get to show my sister the finished space. I hope she's happy and I hope she loves it. I have absolutely no idea what's being done to my house. I'm in a state of disbelief. I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm every possible emotion. I think that I could be feeling all rolled into one. Oh my gosh, are you ready? I think. Okay, come with me. Okay. Do I have to <laughs> close my eyes? Crying already. No, you can open your eyes. Okay. I love the door. Wow. All right, are you ready to go in? Yeah. Close your eyes. All right, ready? Here we go. Don't open them. Okay, step up. Keep them closed still. It smells new. Does it? But okay, now keep walking. Like keep it's weird, walking. it doesn't have that grandma and grandpa's house smell. Oh, well that's good because this is your house now. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> doesn't even look like my house. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. <laughs> Can you believe it's your house? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> This is your house, Emily. Leah, they hung up the kids' artwork. Yeah. I love that photo of me and Eddie. It feels so homey. I like the openness of it. Mm -hmm. I think it's just gonna make life so much easier. You guys love being a family, so we put that in here. The bookshelf behind you, this is your bookshelf, Emily. Dad, we really... finished it and painted this. The fireplace, oh, we wow. painted the brick. You have a deeper mantle now. And your television cabinet. I have lights in my ceiling. <laughs> you have lights in your ceiling? Wait, isn't it just so much brighter? Well, like it is. I mean, like we have the two mismatched floor lamps. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your kitchen. Oh my God. This is my house. Yeah. <laughs> this is your house now. Did you ever think you'd have a kitchen island? No. I think that the biggest difference is just how these walls are down and how when you're standing in the kitchen, you're gonna be able to see the kids wherever they are now. Wow. Your magic chef. That was grandpa. Parts of them still in the house. It felt so good that she loved it. It seemed like everywhere she looked, she was getting more excited or more moved. I love the light. I love the green. Pop of color. I love it. I love this new table. And it fits. One of the reasons it fits in the room is we, you, you had like the double hutch and buffet. Now you just have this one big cabinet from House. And let me show you one of my favorite things for you. Storage. I love this. All of these, but look in here. <gasps> There's a charging station. Art supplies. Oh my gosh. And then these two. Games, toys, oh all gosh. over here. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just the perfect space for a family with young children. It's very practical. Well, I didn't do this by myself. In fact, the people who did most of the work are here. Here's dad who provided all the free labor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dad. Oh, and you're Jenny. Welcome, welcome. How do you like The it? brains behind the operation. Hi. <laughs> Jenny and my sister did a fantastic job. All right, so Dwight and the kids are gonna be here any minute. So well, let's wait for them, but let's relax. Okay, let's sit here. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, you wanna sit on your couch? I do. I think the big hit was the couch. Do I have to let my kids in this space? <laughs> <laughs> but the whole space is a home run. Ooh, they're here. They're here. Hi, Why do I do have a new door? Oh my God. What do you think, guys? Wow. Wow, holy but moly. But a pretty new house What's inside. What's that? I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. This house looks awesome. It looks absolutely nothing like the home that I left two months ago. Wow, I love the table. Let me check out the table. So this is all ours. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Without Jenna, this wouldn't have happened. This is the biggest gift I've ever had in my life. It's absolutely awesome and I couldn't have asked for a better sister-in-law. This is pretty crazy. I can't <laughs> believe this is happening. Mama! Yeah? I'm just gonna probably fall asleep on this. The cool thing about the couch is that this is a sofa sleeper. This is sweet. It's a bookie, that's right. 
I can truly say that Jenna is probably one of the most important people in my life. This is just beautiful. If I need advice about something, I go to my sister. We just have that kind of relationship where I know that she will be there for me anytime I need her. Is, are you responsible for all I this? I am, oh, yes. My. I bring party favors. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, Jenna. Oh, Doesn't that look so good? Oh, it does. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I know. Doesn't it look oh, so hey. good? Oh, man. Look what we did. We did what we said. Everyone's in the kitchen. <laughs> now, right? Except now everybody fits. OK, so I just want to make a little toast. It's been a two-month renovation. You guys have all been living together, and you've been putting in a ton of time, and you've been putting in a lot of labor. But I just want to say thank you. It looks awesome, Jenny. And cheers to your new home. Congratulations. Cheers. cheers. The future is going to be much easier for Emily now. I love thinking about her family doing movie night, cuddled up on the couch with a fire in their new fireplace. One, two, three. No. <laughs> this renovation would not have been possible without the technology of House. Thank you for helping me find a great designer, a great contractor, and all kinds of amazing products. So how are you going to like watching Cardinals games from the kitchen? Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. They're doing OK, right? I think we need to pick up another bat. It still hasn't sunk in that this is my house. <laughs> Well, since we stole your football team, we'll go ahead and give you that oh, batter. Oh, she went there, huh? You can have oh, man. Four generations of fishers have lived in this house, and now it's it's ready for more to come. <laughs>